Hello, CYX89. Well, we've had some news on the new Queer as Folk show that's coming. Now, uh, the first part of news didn't get a lot of attention, I felt, because I think people just wanted to avoid the issue. The second bit of news was about Kim Petrow being in the cast and um, Julia Lewis, Juliet Lewis being in the um, cast as parents of two of the cast members. So we had some photos of Kim Cattrall and Juliet Lewis uh, basically comforting their kids and then it looks like um, karaoke so we've just got a few shots and that's it still no footage nothing but a really basic teaser trailer showing the Babylon um, logo of the um, club and there was more news coming out of I mean really there's really not much about the Kim Cattrall thing just that she's um, trading um, uh, mar not, not martinis what, what drinks Cosmos for martinis in the new show that's it that's really all they mentioned because she's holding one that's it so there's not much there, but there was a lot more in the other issue, but I don't feel like it got as much attention. Um, basically, they are basing this show on the British series, not so much the American reboot, which went for longer and was ugly more successful on Showtime. They're basing it on the original British series, which only went, I think, for one season. No, two seasons, but one was really short. Um... And it's all going to centre around um, a Pulse-style nightclub shooting and the community recovering from that. So I don't think a lot of people want to deal with that because when I first saw that I thought, oh no, can't we just have a show of gay people just living normal life? Do we have to have some horrible, tragic thing that they're all victims of? Because that's one of the problems with gay people in TV and on TV shows. They're always the victim of something. They're always... An example of something that, and then they're dead you know bury your gaze all that sort of stuff always being victims or, or villains one or the other and one of the things I liked about Queer as Folk the original and um, the new one was they were basically just days of gaze of our lives it was just gay people living life and it wasn't didn't have any one big um, political issue or um, issue it was just gay people living life and it was nice although the first one the British one did start after one of the um, characters um, died so it was sort of started off with rec sort of dealing with the death of um, the character but that wasn't a big part of the series um, but yeah the, the I'm just going to read the interview you know what it's just easier than trying to explain it all Stephen Dunn the creator of the new Queer's Folk show for Peacock I love this for Peacock we won't make any jokes there has given a lengthy interview to The Hollywood Reporter about bringing the iconic series back to life he's also given a glimpse into what we can expect Dunn says his storyline for the show, which will be set in New Orleans, was partly inspired by the Pulse nightclub tragedy. After the success of Dunn's movie Closet Monster in, at Sundance in 2015, he began talking with producers about the possibility of bringing back Queer as Folk. However, the rights for the US version had reverted from Showtime to Queer as Folk's original creator, British writer Russell T. Davies. Uh, it's a sin, that's the show he's doing now, I think. Dunn flew to the UK to pitch his ideas to Davies. I knew it wasn't what it was going to be about, says Dunn. I knew the story, I knew the premise, I knew I wanted it to be about a community rebuilding after a Pulse nightclub-like tragedy. He loved the concept, Davis, um, and the energy that I brought to it and felt like this had the potential to expand the legacy of the series. Dunn says he met with several Pulse survivors when planning the storyline, and some of them came on board as consultants of the show. He promises that there won't be any tragedy porn. Um, Pulse is a specific event that targeted the Latinx community in Orlando. Our show is completely fictional, but the tra trajectory of our story is inspired by the realities of what that was like. Not just that night, but the aftermath and the way the community of Orlando rebuilt in the wake of that tragedy. Um, what you'll see in Queer's Folk is the honest truth of what it is like to go through something like that and how it's not the, sanit the, the saintly victim tragedy story. These are real people and they're not victims. They survived a tragedy and they are human beings whose lives are completely up turned upside down after this, which means they kind of are victims. Um, the original British series with Queer's Folk, set in Manchester, was com commissioned by Channel 4 and ran from 1999 to 2000, so it got two very short seasons. The Showtime update set in Pittsburgh ran from 2000 to 2005. I never really got it being set in Pittsburgh, I must admit. Um, Dunn is clear that the new show should not be called a reboot, but a reimagining. Okay. 
basically it's the same thing. Um, I don't know why producers like to say reimagining because they seem to think they can distance it from the reality of being a reboot, but it's a reboot. Um, or it's a continuation. If they're just, if it doesn't involve any of the characters from the original show and it's just picking a new bunch of characters, that's not a reimagining either. So I don't know what they're playing at with the, playing with those words or if they're just trying to avoid them being used and avoid confusion, but it's just confusing me more. He also says he was more inspired by the British original than the US version. I didn't use the Showtime one at all. Using the original source material was a jumping off point, but because of the time that's passed between those versions, I wasn't looking to redo the stories that had already been done so well before. That's why um, we're not using the word reboot, because this is a really this is really a reimagining of the show, and it's set in New, or New Orleans, as well as within a community that's rebuilding after a tragedy. My mouth is really dry. He adds, we're acknowledging the past while fully paving our own way because that was what that was the only way I could approach this. We had to break new ground in order to tell the story and to make it relevant because we had our own generation's things we wanted to say to have a new story. Uh, casting, I won't read this bit. They just, they've just talked about um, a few people. Among the cast, they've got um, Candace Grace from Acts of Crime, Johnny Sibili from Pose, Hacks, uh, Devin Way, Dr. Blake Simmons from Grey's Anatomy, okay, and Station Nine, uh, Finn Ang Argus, Clouds, The Gifted, James, Jesse James Keitel from Big Sky, and Ryan O'Connell from Special. And Dunn says it was a no-brainer for him to cast gay actors as gay in gay roles. He was also asked about casting Kim Cattrall and Juliette Lewis as the parents of LGBTQ kids in the show. He agrees they might help lure more straight viewers to the show, but ultimately the show was made with its queer audience in mind. I want the role, I wrote the role for Kim, and I've been a huge fan of Juliet's. Queer as folk never had stars, they became stars. The world is starting to understand and support and see that queer narratives are not just for queer audiences. It is a new world now where these stories are accessible in a mainstream way. Kim and Juliet both know that a massive part of their fan base exists within the queer community. Those characters do function as a way for other people to see that they are that there are other ways into the show. I made this show for the people who need it. That's what queer as folk has always been and who it's made for. The first season will premiere June 9 on Peacock. So, wow, that took seven minutes. Um, yeah, um, I, I, I do think there is a story to tell there, but I also feel like it's a very negative story. It's about surviving. I want this show to be about just gay people thriving and being happy and, and living life, not sort of dealing with tragedy and recovering from tragedy and just this survival tale. It's just this victim, um, victim narrative that we always seem to have to have, or at least... In the last 20 years, it's all, it's all like that. So I'm not liking the politics of it all because it seems to be about that and about the platform and all that, all those cliché things that we keep hearing all the time and we keep repeating. Um, I just want to enjoy the show. I just want to enjoy a show about gay people. I really liked... I didn't like the first British show so much. Um, the later Showtime one was better. So the fact they're going back to the original and they're um, making it political, they're making it about a tragedy... Um, but then saying it's not about that and it's not a, you know, it's not a reboot, it's not a reimagining. And it's just, it seems like a lot of, I'm, I'm not feeling very confident about the series. We'll see what it is. We'll see when it comes out. But um, I'm just going to wait and see. I don't know. I mean, I don't really feel like Kim and Juliet are stunt casting because they're not big stars. They do have, like, followings, and you know, um, in the gay community, but they all are sort of, they also also are like general sort of audience sort of fan favorites in a way like we all sort of know those actors so it could help i don't know i'm gonna go feel free to share like comment subscribe let me know what you think um yeah do you think it's going to be better than the original do you think they can improve on the original or are they doing their own thing and does that work to just do that every 10 or 20 years or something just have a new but then why call it queer as folk it's like a branding but it seems to have nothing to do with it, which is kind of weird. And I never liked the name Queer as Folk because it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very UK thing. None so queer as Queer as Folk or something is the saying or something. It's like, 
and queer. We don't really use queer anymore, so I'm really not sure of the merits of this really and how it's going to work. But um, and I don't trust anyone anymore in in the media, so I don't know. I don't know if this is going to be any good or not. But um, I've been talking for ten minutes. So I've got to stop. Feel free to share, like, comment, subscribe. Thanks. Bye.